Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're going to be checking out the D-Bot Osmo T8 AV from Ecovax. Robotic vacuums are obviously kind of a premium product, you know, not something you necessarily need in your house. There are some great budget options, but if you're looking for something that has some more features like vacuuming, mopping, and mapping your room with laser, then something like this D-Bot from Ecovax is gonna be right up your alley. Obviously, all of that does come at a price though as well. The D-Bot T8 comes in at $800, compared to the Eufy RoboVac 30C, which comes in at $300. So let's check out the D-Bot Osmo T8 AV and see how it performs. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So first up, let's get the D-Bot TA out of the box and see what all it comes with. Opening it up here, we have the robot itself, the mopping cleaning plate and reusable pad, clearly labeled spinning brushes for left and right with colors, a spare set of brushes, the manual and other literature, a few disposable mopping pads, and a spare filter. We also have the charging base and power cable. Once you get everything out, getting set up and running with the T8 is really straightforward. The first time you open up this hinged uh, plate back here, which has the dust collection bin, there's a little card which has all the different instructions, kind of like a quick start guide printed right on that. So it's really easy to find out what steps you need to take to get up and running with the T8. These instructions also include a QR code, so once you download the Ecovax Home app and get logged in with that, then you can just um, go to Add a Device and scan the QR code that's found on that plate, and then it will detect the robot vacuum and get everything set up in there. So each time I've run the T8, uh, I've been really impressed with everything that it picks up. It has plenty of suction power and it does auto detect whether it's on carpet or a harder surface, so it will uh, increase the power when it's on carpet to try to pull up more dust. And we have a cat here. He's a very large hairy cat, so he leaves a lot of cat hair. And so after the first couple runs, you know, I was just absolutely disgusted with everything that it pulled up. And then even subsequently after that, every time that I've run this, I've been really impressed with everything that it's been able to find and pick up. With the mapping compared to a uh, kind of bounce, random bounce and turn uh, robot vacuum like the RoboVac that I've tried before, having something that can map every single room and you can tell it via the app or via a smart assistant like Alexa to clean a certain room, uh, that really is a game changer in a house layout like I have here. With the RoboVac, I felt like uh, it could easily get stuck in different rooms. Um, and so it either it couldn't find its way in a different room or find its way out. And you know, if you're trying to clean the whole house at once, it felt like um, that pretty much wasn't possible because it would always get stuck in a certain room. And I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but with the D-Bot T8, uh, once you get everything set up and mapped in the app on your phone, then you can actually you know label the different rooms and ask it to clean a specific room. I will get a little bit more into the app a little bit later, but it's just been an absolute game changer for our house. Cleaning out the dustbin after each run is obviously recommended and that's really easy to do. You lift this back flap. There's a little thing that you pull out here and you can see mine has been used. It's a little bit dirty, uh, I did empty it, uh, but that's really easy to access. Uh, also in this flap, we have the power button. There's a Wi-Fi reset button, another QR code uh, if you need to resync this to your app. And another cool handy feature is the inclusion of the cleaning tool uh, just right here in the back of the vacuum. That's a nice detail uh, because with the Eufy, uh, it also came with a cleaning tool, but there's no place to store it on the actual unit. So you have to find some other random place and my kids like to play with it because it's blue and something new and fun. So that sometimes gets lost. So it's nice to have that actually included in the unit of the D-Bot T8. Another big part of maintenance is cleaning the roller brush, uh, which I found to be a lot simpler and um, you didn't have to do it as often on the D-Bot T8 as what I had to do on the Eufy. I felt like the Eufy would very frequently get clogged up with the hair from our cat, uh, but with the D-Bot T8, the roller brush doesn't get nearly as clogged up with hair as the uh, RoboVac did, so that's been really handy. I felt like I had to uh, take out the cleaning tool or my knife and cut a hair off of the RoboVac quite often, um, but I haven't had nearly as many issues with the D-Bot. All right, so let's get into the app and mapping and a little bit of everything that you can do in there. Like I mentioned earlier, having uh, home mapping or floor mapping was one of the major benefits to me of the D-Bot T8 over something like the RoboVac 30C, which just uh, bounces and randomly, you know, turns around. 
The first couple of cleans that I did, um, I just kind of opened up the app. I saw there was a smart clean button. I hit that and it's, it started. And uh, you can see on the app as it starts to like map out your home and your floor and make a little map of that. And I did a really good job. It was cool to see it, you know, go around and map the room and detect obstacles and different things like that. Um, but at the end of it, it didn't save the map, uh, which was something I was really confused about because I thought that was one of the benefits. So after diving a little bit more into the app, there is an advanced mode that you can turn on. And when you do that, that's when you can actually label the room and set virtual boundaries and kind of really take advantage of all the different features that mapping can do with the DBOT T8. If you have multiple levels to your floor, you can even enable a setting which allows you to map, you know, multiple floors. And then depending on where you have the robot, you can pull that up um, and it will know where it is on multiple floors, which is pretty awesome. So with that enabled, once the DBOT T8 finishes its initial clean and maps your entire floor, uh, then it will auto detect different rooms and it can set those up by itself and uh, they're labeled, you know, A, B, C, D. And then you can go in and um, actually assign different names to those. Uh, there's a predetermined list of names. You can't, you know, go in and write your own name or something like that. But you can also adjust those rooms. You know, if it detected two rooms that you would see as one room, uh, you can combine those. And then you can also set virtual boundaries if there are areas that you don't want the DBOT TA to go into. So we have a couch in our living room, uh, which sometimes it went under there and it would get kind of stuck and just kind of bounce around because there are quite a few obstacles from our kids. So I just set a virtual boundary around our couch and so it won't go under there to try to clean that, um, which made it work a, a lot better. And once all of that is set up and your rooms are labeled, then you can use a smart assistant like uh, Google or Alexa to control the DBOT T8. So if you notice that there's a mess in the living room that you'd like it to go clean up, you can ask Alexa to ask the DBOT to go into the living room and clean. And once it's finished with that room, it'll come back to the charging dock automatically. Another interesting feature that the DBOT T8 has is a remote camera control. So obviously you can see here on the front, it has a camera. That's what it uses to you know help to detect different obstacles and avoid them. But when the DBOT isn't cleaning, you can click on the video manager option inside the app instead of the smart clean. And when it does that, it's basically like a robotic camera that you can move around your house and get a live feed of whatever's going on in your house. I didn't really use this feature very often uh, because I work from home and I'm at home a lot of the time. But, you know, if you were out of the home and had a furry pet that you wanted to check in on, you know, this might be one way to do that. But it's just an interesting added feature to be able to see a live video feed and control it from the app on your phone. Using the video manager to uh, access the robot does require a passcode on your phone, which you set up when you initially do it. And then Ecovax uh, says that none of the video is stored online, so you don't need to worry about any security issues with that. So in addition to just vacuuming uh, with the T8, you can also mop. To use the mopping feature, you need to attach the cleaning plate to the bottom, which attaches to the water reservoir back here. Uh, there are two little mounts down here that that will attach to. And so while this is a great added feature, especially if you have a lot of hard surfaces, a lot of hardwood, it does require quite a bit more interaction and setup than vacuuming. After each use, you'll want to remove and clean or dispose of the cleaning cloth. Um, it does come with one reusable cloth and a few disposable cloths you can just uh, stick on there and throw away after each use. But then you also need to fill up the reservoir each time and Ecovax recommends to empty the reservoir after each uh, mopping use as well so the water's not sitting in there. So it's not hard to do to pull it off and do that, um, but that requires a little more interaction than what I think the vacuuming does. And another consideration is that that the DBOT T8 will avoid carpet when the cleaning plate is installed. So if you have, you know, mostly hard surfaces on your floors with a couple of rugs, you know, that's probably okay. But if you have quite a bit of carpet, like what's on my first floor, then that means that the DBOT T8 won't clean most of the floors uh, with the cleaning plate installed. It seemed to work really well when I had it installed. Uh, I clicked it on and put it in my kitchen and let it you know, go around and mop. It just kind of gets the cleaning cloth uh, wet and then it kind of just drags it around your room and picks anything up. In my experience, it's not gonna get things that are really stuck on there, but if you had a fresh spill or you just wanna do you know, a quick wipe down of your kitchen floor or whatever floor, uh, then I really do think it does a good job. Another major feature of the T8, you know, in addition to the laser mapping is obstacle avoidance with, I think they call it their AV. And so like when it's finished cleaning, if you look at the app, it'll actually tell you how many obstacles it detected and how many it avoided. And it'll also ask you to uh, remove those obstacles if you want the DBOT T8 to go back and clean some more when those obstacles have been removed. And in my experience, this worked really well. With the Robovac 30C, uh, because it doesn't have any vision or anything like that, you know, if we left obstacles around our house, which often happens, uh, we have kids, it would, you know, sometimes get tangled on different uh, strings from toys, but I really haven't had any issues with the DBOT T8. It's supposed to be able to detect cords, and so I tried putting one right in front of it to see what it would do, 
and it approached it and kind of stopped like five inches away and then tried to reroute and find a way around it. So I really do think it does a good job of detecting and avoiding obstacles, which is really beneficial. Battery life on the DBOT T8 is also really impressive with over three hours. And because it's so much more efficient with, you know, mapping and then um, just going in a pattern and cleaning, you know, every square foot of available space, it doesn't take nearly that long to sweep our entire first floor, which is somewhere close to 1,000 square feet. So wrapping up here, um, I've been really impressed with the DBOT T8. The combination of features with easy maintenance and ease of use uh, make this a really, really good uh, robot vacuum. Obviously that does come at a bit of a price. Uh, $800 is you know quite a bit to pay when there are a lot of other good options out there for much cheaper as well. But in my experience, the laser mapping worked extremely well and was really impressive. Uh, it does a great job of pulling a lot of dust and debris out of our carpets. I also love how it avoids obstacles and of course having the mopping feature is pretty great too. So what do you think of the DBOT Osmo T8 AV from Ecovacs? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.